DJ Calm Down, Calm Down TV. And shit, y'all probably already know who he is, but we got my boy Lil Stain in here. Yeah, yeah, y'all know what's going on, man. Lil Stain, Mr. Bus Reminds, man. Yeah. What's going on, Mr. MHG? Uh, Pet Pod. Hey, now, man. tell me about the name. Well, how you get the name Lil Stain? I actually been having the name. I was just going by keys either. I always been my rap name since I first started rapping. And like, I'm gonna say it was right before I hit middle school. Mm -hmm. I was already rapping and we had a little group called Cloud Nine. And that was my name, Keys. And so I rolled it. But I also fucked with some people, you feel me? That made me just wanna leave that person who I was behind. Okay. So Lil Stain, I took it as full effect. My hood gave me that name, so I just took it and ran with it. Okay. Now your hood, what's your hood? You feel we in Nashville right now, but where you from? You from the Ville? Well, side, Dodge City, come on. Yeah. Right. What's Dodge City? Like you feel me? I actually, a lot of people don't know, I was actually born there, but I didn't stay there. I moved to Bardo, 1492 County Hospital Road. I stayed there for a little bit, then I moved to Bellshire. But what's Dodge City for all the outsiders that don't know? Is that like you feel me? A neighborhood, apartments, what what is that? It's if you it's the projects, you know what I'm saying? Like basically, like if you don't, don't if you ain't from there really right now, what's how it's going on right now? If you're not from there, don't come there. But I do allow certain people in the hood. You get what I'm saying? Certain people I will give a call. He good type shit, and that'll be stem. Yeah. But it ain't it ain't no it ain't no sweet and dandy place. Everybody, it's the struggle. You feel me? We people really struggling. People really getting money, you know what I'm saying? People really cutting heads. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's really real. Yeah. And the other project though. Yeah. It's just we we a small project, really family based. Yeah. Okay. Now you uh mentioned rapping under the name Keezy a little bit. Uh when did you say you uh fit me stamp the, the little stain name? You said the hood gave it to you, but Yeah, I was out like they were calling me Lil' Stain while I was Keezy type okay. shit. The hood only called me Stain though. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody around here knew me by Keezy to make mirrors at I was fucking with a group on this music shit, and people ain't right. So I just, I, I feel like Keezy, like my mindset now is strong. Keezy was fucking with everybody. You get what I'm saying? Keezy was fucking with a lot of negative negativity. Okay. So I left that behind. I said, I'm riding the hood. I'm, I'm gonna stand on this name, and that's what it is. Okay. Now, uh, you see the shirt right now? It got what's MHG. Yeah, money on the guns. Now. Um, some people <coughs> kind of familiar with you being maybe MHB. Tell me about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it really started with my big brother, both my big brothers, and a little dude from County Ridge, Little Rodney, you feel me? But it was a school thing, then it got rid of that because of the, the gunners. Okay. You get what I'm saying? Like, I ain't gonna say no names. People, people really was hustlers. They wasn't no pistol slingers. You get what I'm saying? Okay. So. When things went left, they always ran to the pistol slingers, mm -hmm. and we ain't do boys. You get what I'm saying? Right. Oh, okay. So it was like a, you get what I'm saying? So the gunners, which was me and my other oldest brother, mm -hmm. branched off and we took the gunners with us. But I stamped and I got my little ones, and we got them. We doing big shit. We all bosses. Okay. Money on the gunners. Uh, all right. Now. Uh, how long you say you been rapping though? Alright, uh, let me say this. What you call rapping? Being like in the studio officially rapping or you just saying like how long I've been speaking? Cause I always used to freestyle when I was young. Like, yeah. like seven years old, me and my cousin was already writing raps and rapping in the, in my Uncle Raymond Lee house. When when did you know that you feel me? Maybe had some for real. When did you know you had some talent? Did you always feel like you was Nah, hell nah. Cloud nine. Okay. I had linked in with Tito. Big Dog Tito, I had linked in with Tim Tezzy and Hoya, okay. which is Malik, you okay. know what I'm saying, bankroll. Right. So we got them, we had a group called Cloud Nine, but I, I still didn't take it serious because I was still in the streets, you know what I'm saying? I was a young nigga, you feel me? Mm -hmm. So I got down, we got down and ran it up. Like we had everybody throwing our shit up to sound like this, you feel me? Right. We had all the gals doing this, <laughs> Mary Jane gang, we was always rapping about weed yeah. and like what we was really doing, you okay. get what I'm saying? Okay. Alright. Now, um, describe growing up though, like you feel me, you was in the projects, but what was you into before? See, what the thing is, my mama, I, I wasn't, I can't say I was in the projects as a kid, but I, I was born there, okay. I grew up there to like about, 
about, I want to say about, about cell, and my mom made me leave because of a homicide, you feel me? Mm. Can't say too much on it, but my mom made me leave. I had shout out to any y'all and shit, and she didn't let me come to the projects at all. Okay. But when I got old enough on my own to, you know, Rotate. you yeah. know, I hit my hood, that's where I'm from. Yeah. I went back. That's why I said in my song, <coughs> my mama moved me away from that, but I came back a hill. You know what I'm saying? My mama really moved me away from that, but I came back a hill. And yeah. I was still die city in any too. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What was uh what was it like in Antioch? What was like the difference, would you say? The, the niggas like I hear you are actually linked with a nigga and they be on what you want. Ain't none of them niggas. If, no, let me say this. My time coming up, they wasn't on that at all. Yeah. You feel me? Wasn't none of them niggas on that at all. They was all getting, they was all jerks, really. Yeah. But I had got some niggas out there, but now it's turned up. I focus on niggas out there. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, let's talk about your music making process. Because uh, you mentioned freestyling and stuff as a youngin', but when you in the booth or in the studio nowadays, you freestyling, you write, how you get your music done? A little bit of both. Like some some stuff I don't finish writing, but I can finish in the booth just going. Okay. You get what I'm saying? But most of my shit I wrote. Most of my shit I wrote. But some of my shit was like I wrote the first verse and I went off the rips. Like, okay. like yeah. David Freestyle, I wrote that first verse, that second verse. I freestyled that, uh, put it out because she giving me neck on that second part I wrote out. Okay. I, yeah, I did that on my own freestyle. Yeah. Is there a certain time where you feel like you make your best music? Like, is it in the studio, in the car? When, I, when I'm going through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, when my life ain't right, yeah. I got more feeling behind it. Yeah. Like, didn't know, like, I've been doing this, but my name really, 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 like, when I've, I've been getting the buzz. Like, people been fucking with my shit, but, like, when I really hit, it was a bus for mine because I was going through a lot of pain. Yeah, okay. Now, um, other than the music though, uh, did you ever have any like dreams other than music? Like maybe being an athlete or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I played football. I was the truth. Yeah. The ass around. I was the truth. It's just my attitude was messed up. So, like, I, I shined already. I shined all the way up really to about high school. I shined a little bit, but my coaches didn't fuck with me like it because my attitude, you know. I ain't, I don't want to get tackled on um, everything must go my way. <laughs> but I was the truth though, but he ain't, that didn't matter when you get into the older, yeah. older times, cause uh -huh. like they, they were on you, but I was shining in football. What was your position? Man, running back, kick return, corner. I even played linebacker through my, through my, uh, like little leagues. Played yeah. for the Greymark Pirates, okay. Coach Ray. Okay. He'll tell you, they used to call me gangster. Yeah. Cause I used to sag in my pants. I, was, I, got, I, I used to sag in my pants, but I was out there crushing. You yeah. Me? Crushing shit. Yeah. For real. Okay, okay. Now, uh, let's talk about some music inspiration, though. Like, who was you listening to as a young man? Or maybe still to this day? I mean, I really listen to local. Okay. But it's like the, the Trapper Man deals, the Jelly the Mayor, the. Goddamn, uh, uh, D strap. Like, I listen to mostly the ones here, but yeah. as far as like in the game wise, mm -hmm. I fuck with, I fuck with Young Boy, I fuck with, uh, I fuck with the Migos, and I fuck with Boosie. I fuck with Boosie the most though, because he speak that real pain music. Yeah. And I fuck with Gotti too, the kitchen talk, I fuck with Gotti and Black Youngster, cause that's, 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 that's how, I, that's, I ain't gonna lie, that's how I wanna be when I get when I touch the <laughs> it'll be, it'll be Yeah, you. like, that's cause, that's what you gotta do, I didn't have that, but I ain't, I mean, not saying I'ma just do everything crazy, yeah. like, but, I'm turning up, yeah. and I'ma let them know it's my time, I'ma let them know, they gonna see me. Yeah, okay. Now you, um, mentioned the project being somewhat rough and some homicides and stuff like that happening. But what's the maybe the roughest stuff that you maybe seen growing up in Dodge City? I mean, I see it every day. Yeah. I don't think I see, you know what I'm saying, my nigga. Right now, it's a lot of it's a lot of shit, man. Like so much shit going on in the hood, I can't even Yeah, you don't know where to start. I can't even speak on but uh -huh. but yeah, it make me it, what you saying do it make me stronger? Like, do it make me feel, like, I don't feel no type of way because I done seen it so much. Yeah. But, the, the Now I'm to it. Yeah, that's, so, that's not good, but. Right. That's really what it is. 
Man, one of your songs, uh, it might be that free thing. Don't quote me, but you said uh, you seen the Reaper and you weren't surprised. Yeah. Describe what you're talking about in that. I really want to bullshit. Yeah. I got down my, I was, it was my last time, I ain't gonna lie, I was out of my mind. I can't say the actual drug I was on, but the nutty structure. I was the nutty. Yeah. And I, I think I was on, I think I took a, a bar with it. Mm -hmm. And I went to sleep, but like, I don't know if it was a dream or if I was still up and tripping. But I know I woke up, but I, I thought I was sleeping. Mm -hmm. But like, for real deal, seen the Reaper in the corner, but I, I, I done did so much wrong, I wasn't surprised. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? If, if we come, shit, I know I, what I, what type of life I'm living, so shit, I wasn't surprised, for real. Yeah. Okay. Now, I've been a little nosy on Instagram and stuff. Uh, I see, uh, a gunner, long live gunner, long live Tuli. Nah, Tuli, Tuli. Or something was, like that. That's what, that, yeah, that's SB Kane. That's, that's SB boy. But, yeah, I know Tuli too, but nah, gunner, he actually died city. Okay. Gunner, that's, that's my boy. He probably, Dave, you feel me? But Lil Nutty, that's all the same person. Okay. Lil Nutty, Gunner, Dave. Mm -hmm. That's why everything Lil Nutty, but yeah, my boy died. Yeah, he died, man. Alright, now he ever had maybe like any family uh, that did music or anything like it or maybe inspired you to have? Uh, uh, nah, not really. Nah, not really. Yeah. Nah, hell nah. I mean, I, I knew more, like I know motherfuckers like down here that, like I ain't gonna lie, I, I listen to a lot of, like, my mind really on the locals, but it been like that because I used to listen to Rob D. You get what I'm saying? I used to listen to Rob D. Damn. shit. Yeah, but the person who I looked at, I ain't gonna lie, who made me really start this shit was a female. Yeah. Yeah. She died, you know what I'm saying? But that person ain't what they was supposed to be. They really was, they went left, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, yeah, like, they went left, so I don't, I yeah. can't fuck with no fake. Okay. Well, uh, life has a lot of ups and downs that kind of make us people who we are today. Is that something in your life that kind of made you, you feel me, who you are? Yeah, if I, if I go through shit, I probably would be the, the bed I am today, yeah. type shit. Like, I don't even think I would have ever made bust for mine if I wasn't going through nothing. Yeah. Like, I, I rap what I feel. Mm -hmm. So, like, if I feel my heart torn out, I just lost my people, mm -hmm. that's what you're going to hear through my music. Yeah. Like, you never going to hear nothing. That, you'll never hear me talking about rapping about being raw, real. Doing shit I don't do, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I feel like everything, everything I went through that was negative made me who I am. So I don't, I don't, I don't like look at it as bad. Like every loss I took, I, I, I really say it's a blessing because it made me more powerful type yeah. of shit. Like I sucked the energy in and released that shit. Yeah. And now everybody feel me. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Not just me feeling it; they all feel it. Okay. Remember maybe your first project or a song that you feel me released to the public? I would be real, man. We we made so many goddamn songs when I was cloud dying. It was ridiculous. Yeah. Like my, my nigga had to, my nigga Tito had the studio in his house as a young nigga. Like my nigga had his own house when he was seventeen type mm. shit. Had his own fucking apartment. Yeah. So it was a day thing, day day thing. So basically, I was like living there. Mm -hmm. So like every day we was on some shit. So I really can't tell you my first song, but it's on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, what's a lo uh, young gun of wild life? Describe. That's where we live. That's where we live. Everybody in the projects live there. Young gun of wild life. That's Bro. for real. That's a real yeah. life. Like That's a real life. A nigga say they you gonna go through hell. It's a young gun of wild life. Real quick, we gotta introduce my two my two boys. You feel me? You call them you call them businessmen. Yeah. Cause my little niggas businessman, we do missions for the change. Fuck that nigga, click up and bust it for the game. Oh, yeah. That part for real. Yeah. That's little taste, get old, and that's little body. Yeah. Now, uh, 
Can we expect any music from y'all too, or you feel me? Any music from anybody else you, around you? Nah, they be this bad, they be vicious for the change. Yeah. Ooh, we ain't gonna hold with the camera. Yeah. You'll see it in the back. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, of course, we, the video. Let's talk about the video. Well, first, let's talk about uh, how you linked up with Life Man in real life. I actually met Mac Man through Mike. Okay. My nigga Mike, you feel me? He, he kept telling me to come to the studio, but I never, never did. Like, yeah. I was fucking with a little nigga, like his studio. But when I came here, he opened our arms for me. Like, there was no nothing that I couldn't do. Yeah. And I was fucked up, actually. I was broke as hell, you feel me? And I was finna turn myself in. Yeah. He got down, he came, he was like, man, look on. Y'all you know saying he ain't want nothing from me. He was like, I got some beats for you. He let me know, look, this real life shit, this is what we do. This what we, this what something we working on, this something we working on, I can help you do this, I can help you do that. He showed me a lot of shit people wasn't trying to show me. Yeah. But, I'm a good dude. Yeah. I'm standing on his name. Yeah. You feel me? I stand on that. I yeah. stand on that real life. Yeah. Now the video, dope, you feel me? Uh, and you did it right before you, like you said, you get ready to turn. Yeah, we did it the same night, actually. Yeah. When I recorded Freestyle, that was like, all oh, that happened in one night. I ain't have no clothes in it or nothing. I was actually, oh, I had on some, uh, my gray jogger sh shorts, uh, my forces, and a, a white beater. And then I, I took my white beater off and I rocked the real light shirt. I yeah. had the real light, the black one, yeah. dancing with a little flow and shit. Yeah. Now, since you mentioned forces, it made me think about back to school. Because I remember when I used to go back to school, like first day of school, I needed to be a first pair of white ones or whatever. A lot of students went back to school recently and whatnot. Uh, what's maybe some clothes or whatever, what's something that you look forward to when going back to school, if you did look forward to it? I'm gonna be the same guy. Yeah. I, don't, I don't, like, I ain't gonna be what they expect, you feel me? Like, not saying I'm gonna meet all standards, you know what I'm saying? But like, far as the clothes wise, I'm not gonna be the red bottom rocking ass me. You ain't if you catch me in that, this is gonna be a real special event type yeah. shit. I don't give a fuck how rich I am. Yeah. I'm gonna buy every pair of these bitches. Yeah. You hear me? You're yeah. gonna catch me some some uh Rule 21, some fashion four shorts, you hear yeah. me? And, and my attire on top. Yeah. I ain't you ain't gotta worry about me wearing no three thousand dollar pants and all that. I don't believe in that. I yeah. mean you, you got you if you got that kind of money, you should have gave your mama that if you could go buy all that with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Breaking off the my, my little niggas, if anything, yeah. I ain't finna come on now. Nah. So, that if only people, I mean, not saying my people, you know, they gonna want that shit. I'm gonna yeah. give my people that shit as far as me. Man, that ain't, that ain't, what's, that ain't, what, I'm, that ain't what I'm after. Right. Now, you're not signed, are you? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. But they gotta be talking right. Yeah. They wanna say me, they gotta be talking right. Cause I know what I can do. Yeah. Especially with like buddy, if I had, mm -hmm. I know what I could do. Right. I didn't have before. I just take stumbles. I take a lot of stumbles. Yeah. Like, okay. Now, uh, let's say you were to get signed, a check worth signing for. Um, how do you think the first day with the money would go? Put this shit up. Yeah. Uh, I buy. I get about two, three features, and I put that shit up. Yeah. I ain't spending nothing. Until I got enough, I'm gonna give me a car, and I don't want no Ferrari or none of that either. Um, give me some regular street car, and probably put some rims on it where they know it's me. <laughs> but other than that, I ain't doing all that. Yeah. Is I'm about my mama one though. Right. I'm about my mama and my granny one. Yeah. Make sure they got one though, they can get whatever the fuck they want when I get it. Yeah. But, as far as me, I, don't, I ain't chasing none of that. I don't, they, they just gotta come with good money. And good business. Is there maybe a dream home, like a place to move to, or something like that? For me, yeah. But my granny, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna pay for her house. I'm gonna get it redone like my granddaddy did. My own little brother still. Right. My granddaddy knows how to ledge, so I'm gonna keep that house. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna keep that house. Just get it cleaned up for work, get the pool back. But me, uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be here too. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have me about really. Really, really, really want to go to Cali. Yeah. That's just why I want to go. I don't want to go nowhere. I mean, I'm going to go a lot of places, right. but as far as living wise, yeah. I'm going to live in Cali. Okay. Okay. Now, some uh, artists, that's an NBA young boy, uh, other artists, not even just him, but they've been buying like,
crazy ass animals and shit. You ain't never thought about buying like no weird ass pet. I'm gonna give me two bullies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I might, you know what? Necessarily like my house, like dogs. Yeah, I'm gonna give me two bullies, but I wanna run a kennel because I love dogs. Okay. But I like, I want the bullies though. Yeah. Like I wanna give me a little bully connect and get them do that shit. Yeah. Okay. Let's back to the music a little bit more. Um, how you pick your beats? Is there a certain type of beats you like? Like more bass or slow or fast? I really like, I really like drum dummy beats. Okay. These beats I like the most. Shit, just shit. I really can go on anything. It's just the rhythm I catch and how I'm feeling. Yeah. Cause like, if I'm going through some shit, a slow song come on, I auto-tune that bitch and really push out some shit. Yeah. So it really ain't no such thing as a nigga on a certain beat. That yeah. mean you can't speak. It's just about how you how that beat make you feel. Yeah. If that beat make you feel something, like every beat I ever done told me what to say type shit. Right. Like I listen to it and I just the rhythm I ride is <coughs> pick how my words come out and shit. Yeah. Okay. Now um let's talk about the uh the jail visit. Is that the was that the first time? Nah, I done been for plenty of small shit, but I ain't never got caught with nothing though. That yeah. was just my, that, that little stone right there. I thought I was gone, that's why I made that free stain. Mm -hmm. But the judge, Ms. Walker, she gave me another chance, I ain't gonna lie. I thought I was finished, I ain't gonna lie. That, I, what I was going up against, I could have did two years in that bitch. Mm. But, two days is a long time, you asked me in that motherfucker. Nah, that is two though, yeah. but I was good. Yeah. Like when I got in there, I was good. Yeah. So shit, I was really ready. That's why I did the freestyle and turn myself in instantly. Yeah. Like fuck that shit, anything I'm finna go through, mm -hmm. and I come out, I'm gonna come out stronger. I was writing when I was in there. Yeah. Okay. So shit, it was a blessing when I went to court and she got that with me back out, so shit. I been yeah. trying to keep straight with that shit. Uh, yeah. Now, of course, uh, nobody wants to be in there, uh, but in jail, is there anything that you can learn inside and maybe take to the streets or just learn, period, from it? Yeah, 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 like I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of old heads in there that were telling me some real shit. They knew me about my music, you feel me? I got man, Dre, he a blood nigga. He put me up on a lot of shit, you yeah. feel me? Like, as far as like the game shit, he was like, really, like, you got it, bro. Like, you shouldn't be in here type shit. But it was a lot of, I ain't gonna lie, man, it was a lot of old heads in there, fool. It was crazy, though. Yeah. Like, Cause I ain't know, I really had that many guys. Supporters, yeah. Yeah, like when I went in, it was niggas on, like I'm, I'm finna get, I'm getting walked to uh, h part. Nigga, stain, I ain't cool, they gon' stain. I don't even know them, like, at <coughs> all. They, bust for me. They got yeah. them screaming, hey man, I just listened to that free stain when I was in here. Yeah. Like, I just heard it, man. You, them motherfucker taking off. Like, I ain't even know. Yeah. Then my mixtape even got dropped while I was in there. Right. That's why I put that one. That's why it's on SoundCloud. Yeah. If I was out, I would have had that one for one spin, really. Yeah. Now, you talking about the structure tape, right? The, uh... Yeah, structure. It was really supposed to be called the nutty structure. Okay. But we structured it with, you know, like, my whole hood structure. We Weaver structure. We John Kane structure. We mm -hmm. Latorn structure. We. We structure, the yeah. little me structure, you yeah. feel me? We just structure my whole little structure, that's what it is, we just structure. So I said, you know what, structure. Yeah, okay. Man, I know what's going on, a whole lot of structure shit, man. Y'all fuck with Calm Down TV, man. I'm in this bitch rocking with him, man. Good dude. Standing on all team behind me. Y'all see what's going on, man. Whole lot of that shit. At Calm Down TV. Y'all go follow them. They good people. It's gang shit, bank shit. <laughs>